Giulia Bedoni, I'm an alumni and I graduated in Instituto Marangoni Milano in 2006. I'm teaching here in the fashion design courses and I'm also the program leader of the fashion design areas, in particular the third year of fashion design. Hi, my name is Emma Raphael Rottenberg. I'm 19 and I'm from Paris and I'm a student at Instituto Marangoni. As I am, I guess you are really obsessed with fashion and that's why I wanted to come to study here in Milan at Instituto Marangoni Fashion Design. I was totally obsessed with fashion, watching all the fashion shows, all the photographers, all the models, following the trends, so that's why I wanted to come here. The three-year course of fashion design is developed to help students to develop a wide range of skills, both practical and theoretical. Practical as fashion drawing, digital and pattern cutting, theoretical to support their growth also in terms of personal styles, aesthetic, and uh, to bring this in the future scenario of the fashion industry. In this course we have different kind of subjects for something more practical and basic because we don't know the students' background so we have to try to align them as fashion drawing, digital design, pattern making, fabrics and material. Going on the students will learn even more theoretical subjects in order to develop their own taste, their own skills in developing a fashion collection, how to make a research, how to uh, check the trends and develop a collection that can be right for the competitors or the target demands. So step by step the students start from something let's say more basic and more practical as well to something more connected to their own personal style and their own personal aesthetic. I also chose Istituto Marangoni because I thought the formation was really complete. You could learn how to draw, how to create a collection, how to do the pattern making, how to sew and also the history of art, trend analysis, fabrics and materials. Everything you can actually get to know in fashion. The skills that are needed to take part of this course are, uh, first of all, commitment and discipline. It's a long-term course with many deadlines and homework, and the timing sometimes is very tough. So even if it's a creative course with creative subject, discipline is necessary. At the same time, a big passion for fashion, but not only art, fabrics and material, uh, design, movies, whatever can be related to the fashion industry. A strong passion for facing in future the job's life is important. As uh, curiosity and creativity. Creativity can be developed through, of course, our course, but without being curious, it's not possible to develop this skill. One of the best aspects of studying at Instituto Marangoni is that you actually get to be really creative. Not only you create your own collections, but you, actually, you also make your own fashion films, uh, you can do your own patterns, your own creations, and that makes you really free. What I really enjoy is also history of art. Actually, how can you aim to create future fashion if you don't know the past fashion? So it's really important to actually study history of art and dress. The teacher is amazing, but you get to have a huge culture and it helps you a lot for inspiration and for everything. In this course, students will learn, first of all, drawing techniques, both by hand and by computer, so from the illustration to the technical drawings. They will learn digital skills, so also how to communicate their own ideas and their own projects through the digital design, pattern making skills uh, that consist in developing their own collection and creations in reality, so uh, also applying the fabrics to their own garments. They will learn trend analysis and contemporary fashion panorama. They will learn also marketing skills, so the competitor, the consumers, and how to place their own collections in the contemporary fashion panorama. They will also learn through digital skills and collection skills how to communicate their own portfolio, so they will create a final portfolio that can be used to face job interviews or other schools' applications. What I love also about Instituto Marangoni is that we're like a big family. We're a lot of students, but we're really supported by the teachers. They follow us a lot, they follow our work, and they really push us up to give the best of ourselves. What I prefer about the fashion design course is actually the fashion design class, where you get to draw your collections, think about the right ideas, also creating your mood board and your aesthetics. It's super personal, but then you have to show your work to the entire world. During this course, they will have the chance to participate to different events. The most important is the fashion show at the end of the third year. It's a very important opportunity for students to give them visibility. Uh, usually even luxury brands come to attend our fashion show, so they may like to take some students from our fashion show for their own style offices. At the same time, through the three-year course, we have external projects for companies, so we may have competitions or seminars or workshops in which the company comes to school and launch some projects together with the students. And this is very useful to give them already an insight of what is happening not just here in school, but also outside the school. 
To succeed at Istituto Marangoni, you really have to be motivated and passionate. You have to love what you do because it's a lot of work, a lot of sleepless nights, and even in the last year, it's a lot of competition. So you have to love what you do because it's so rewarding to actually work hard for what you love. The fashion designer is a professional figure that comprehends many different aspects and skills, and for this reason, it gives many different job opportunities. Of course, the main one is the fashion designer, so to work as part of the style office in a brand or for his own brand, so to create and develop collections. Another opportunity that today is very trendy is the fashion illustrator, for example. Through also the use of the social media is today a quite uh, trendy uh, work and job opportunity. Another opportunity is the pattern maker, as the costume designer for movies and theater, for instance. Another job opportunity is to become a trend analyzer, a trend researcher, or a trend forecaster. So to work, for instance, for a trend book, or uh, expositions of fabric, or magazines, or companies, fashion companies that requires to have some information about the future trends. Through the pathways we have in our course, students can have the chance to go deeper in menswear, womenswear, on accessories. So we start with womenswear in general, but students in future will have the chance to choose their own pathway and go more in depth in one of these three options and scenarios. My advice to you would be to really be passionate about what you're doing and be motivated to work. Instituto Marangoni is a lot of hard work, and in the end, if you love it, you will work with pleasure. Hi, my name is Louise Corner and I studied fashion design at Istituto Marangoni in London and today I have my own fashion company. I actually graduated in 2011 uh, thanks to Istituto Marangoni. Uh, I actually work with the English National Ballet, uh, Tom Ford, uh, Puma with their collaboration collection with uh, Hussein Shalayan. Uh, I did a few collaborations with a Danish company called Muse I was actually in charge of the whole production, marketing, sales and distribution to kind of test to see if my designs were actually demand on the market. And that was actually the reason why I'm here today to have my own company. What I actually thought was incredible uh, at Institute de Maragoni was that the classes were so small and you had a very intimate, good uh, relationship with the teachers and, and that was even like when you were drawing in the first year, you even learned to kind of like draw specific kind of materials. And then when you come on to like even second and third year, you have very specific skills when it comes to like pattern cutting, uh, even the whole technical thing of like technical drawings, uh, the actual knowledge about using Photoshop and Illustrator, which has been one of the most important skills especially for the fashion industry. An incredible project I was actually put on in my last year was actually a master student that was kind of like sleeked in to do. And uh, it was actually a project for the English National Ballet with um, David Bamber that worked at Tom Ford, uh, which was incredible because what you had to do was literally put up this uh, creative direction slash different costumes of this new version of Ballet Russe, uh, the Firebird Ballet, and I got chosen. So I was part of the creative design team uh, to produce these different costume designs that was then later presented at the Colise uh, Coliseum in London. The graduation collection I did in 2011 was actually based on this uh, TV series called True Blood. So I did this collection that was presented at the Instituto Maragoni fashion show. And I did also this kind of wooden corset and wooden skirt in combination then with this decaying kind of print. The last collection I did, it was presented obviously during Stockholm Fashion Week because the Swedish Fashion Council took me on to be part of this uh, Swedish uh, fashion talent, uh, which I actually won as well and um, that collection was based on this digital data concept uh, because obviously what we're living today is very much based on a digital parallel world so I use this kind of like very digital kind of form that I created into a much more feminine softer shape that was one of the bases of the prints of the collection. If I was a student again, I think that I would obviously definitely use 
all the different uh, kind of facilities you have of the school because what you realize is that you have an incredible library here you have teachers that is obviously so involved in the actual fashion industry having this you know extra courses with photoshop and illustrator is such key thing enjoy the course as much as you can because i would easily do the whole course again because you know it's all about pushing your own creative boundary and you know before you know when you come out in the real world you have to obviously limit yourself and listen to your boss or client what kind of creative field they want but you know when you're in university it's all about pushing your own creative visual sense and that's why it's so incredible <laughs>